horror movie or a science fiction movie. So that went on for two years, and we do a half hour of comedy a week. So it was just such a great for a young idiot to work with everybody and figure out how to do a show. So after two years, I moved to LA with those tapes. And I had all the big comedians who were going to be famous from Boston. They were my best friends, and we wrote all that stuff together. So uh, the first guy, Bobcat Goldthwait, had a special, and he hired me to be head writer right off the bat. <coughs> Pure luck. And then I did six other comedy, like HBO type, our comedy special. And um, wrote 18 screenplays. I sold eight. None of them were made. Wrote the SAG Awards for three years. Wrote a PBS series. Um, and then the first cartoon series was Rocco's Modern Life. So this is the weirdest gig ever. And that's how I know Chris. He and I started out together like a thousand years ago with this weird gig because Joe Murray, this genius dude, um, had a penchant for hiring people with no experience. So, so he looked at weirdo's art. Just, he's like a total, how would you describe him? Uh, yeah, he's like a savant, but he's also a, a, a anti-authority guy. Very much against any the rules or anything, to the extreme. So the show reflected that. That's why I was so successful. <coughs> so I'd never written any cartoons, so... And he hired four new directors, right? And so it was like, what? And it was the most fun ever. It turns out that it was me and two other writers, and Chris worked, was there as well, and Steve Hillenberg is in the office next to me, first gig, who created SpongeBob, SpongeBob and <clears throat> one of the funniest guys ever. And uh, Dan and Swampy, who did Phineas and Ferb. And um, Doug Lawrence, who's now head writer for SpongeBob. And um, Tim Bjorklund, who did Felix the Cat. So all these guys became big showrunners. So I ended up working all, on all the shows. <laughs> so it just was pure luck. And along with that, I wrote the comic books for the thing. And that just comes in later because I was able to write comic books just by purely by being there. And to cut to 25 years later, um, Joe Murray, who created the show, the eccentric guy I told you about, was a brilliant genius. He called me and Doug Lawrence, the head writer of SpongeBob, to come by because Nickelodeon wanted them to do a, a reboot of a TV movie. He said, should I do a series or a TV movie? So we said, let's just do the movie. Because <laughs> what's the part of the, how do you update it? You know what I mean? So luckily we pitched the craziest shit ever. And he, and we were howling laughing. We did it for about a month. And um, Nickelodeon first said, no way. <coughs> but then they came back in the 11th hour and they said, yes. Why don't you do this crazy thing? So you'll see what it is. It's, hard to describe. <laughs> <laughs> so on Rocco's Modern Life, that's when I met Swampy and Dan. That's me and my daughter in the middle. So they were directors on on Rocco and so, excuse me for a second, and so it's Kaz. 